Hey guys, doing this is Chris with Retro Crypt back again for. I think I'm going to do a little Mega Man X action for a stream of Mega Man X. I <clears throat> I love Mega Man. I originally played the Mega Man X. Legacy Collection. first Mega Man on NES. Was never able to beat it. I could get through a couple of the boss, the Robot Masters bosses. Um, I didn't play um, any of the original series after Mega Man until much, much later. I kind of, like, I played the first game, and then Mega Man X came out, and I just gravitated towards Mega Man X. I, I love the original series, but I'm much more of a Mega Man X fan. So, Rookie Hunter mode off. Obviously, we're playing the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Add this on. Add a physical copy on the SNES back in the day. Gotta love that vintage retro Capcom. Um, logo and sound. Of, I guess jingle sound effect. So in this game, basically, Mega Man X is put in a capsule and buried for a hundred years. Oh, well, the synopsis is right here. Whoops. Think, feel, and make their own decisions. It could be very dangerous. So kind of like, um, very RoboCop-esque delivery. Obviously, uh, Mega Man must follow all of his human master's directions or else be deactivated be termed as a uh, deemed a maverick and be deactivated I saw some fan videos that were like Wiley's kind of the <clears throat> Dr. Wiley wasn't the, um, the bad guy he was actually the good guy because essentially he he was trying to prevent the 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 robots from be becoming essentially deactivated like once they get they outlive their usefulness they get deactivated and basically they, they just lose their lives so <clears throat> here we go is there a rapid fire on this a little flicker there. Uh, screen Let me see. Go with that one. I guess not. No big deal. So we don't have the <coughs> we don't have the dash here. Yeah, I probably <clears throat> I probably picked this game up at either Kmart on Route 35 in Hazlitt <clears throat> or the Toys R Us right across the street. Those were the places where I got all my video games. Yeah, these games are 
a lot more tough now playing them as an adult. Like, I, I played through this game a million times over the years. Like, every couple of years I would I would play through it. Like, when it, when it was brand new, <clears throat> I used to play it continuously, non-stop, the first Mega Man X. And then after that, I would play through it uh, again every couple of years. And there's been a pretty large gap <clears throat> in between the last couple times I, uh, the last, between now and the last time I played through it. English is hard for me, sorry. Um, let me see. Seeing like I would have just been through the stage by now. There's a little bit of, you, you can see it on Mega Man's head and arm. There's like a little bit of like flicker. I don't know what that's from. I don't know if that's in the original game as well or if, or if it's just a porting issue. It's not a big deal. Not to me. Uh, yeah, I know there's a lot of purists out there that would be like, oh, there's, there's some flicker and uh, this and then that. And, I, I don't care. The game is fine. It plays just as well. I could care less. And these guys shit bombs on you. They, I don't know what it is with games. Like, there's like a shit bomb epi epidemic. Dude, don't let me die on this first intro screen. Intro level. <clears throat> not having to... And also not... Not having the dash is kind of messing me up. <clears throat> God, let me fix my stream. I just remembered. I don't think I. F it probably says that I'm playing something different. Yeah, it says I'm playing Siberian. I'll just put it up on the computer real quick. I don't know. The Twitch app is kind of like... I don't know. It's better. The website is better to deal with. Um, I feel like the app is kind of like... I don't know. It's not as good. Let's put it that way. Alright. Edit. I'll get this down eventually. Mega Man X. Mega Man X. Classic. Hence Retro Crypt. Retro, 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 right? Let's get some tags going. Mega Man. Capcom, the king of games. Uh, perfect. Dunskis. Alright. Perfect. Uh, let's share real quick. Go to my Twitter, CCNO82. Okay. to you and then laugh kind of kind of a dick move before I started <clears throat> before I started streaming I was like yeah you know I'll probably fucking be able to blow through like half the game in an hour and it's not looking like that uh, Jesus 
I swear I've played this game before. Also, I feel like um, the last few times I played this, I was relying too heavily on turbo uh, turbo controller. And my turbo controller is broken now, so... Gotta stop making it sound like I'm making too many excuses. Um, fuck, how do you die on the fucking intro level of Mega Man X? Whoa! Rusty. Vile. Yeah, so apparently this this takes place about you can't beat him, so you just have to let him beat you. It takes place about a hundred years after the events of the first game. Or or uh, the original series I should say. So Wily is no longer the antagonist. We're gonna get into all that in a bit shortly. It's X's only line of dialogue in the whole game, which I thought was kind of strange. This is Zero, his bud. Who, spoiler alert, was originally designed by Wily. So everybody was like, when are we going to get a, a chance to play Z as Zero? Because he's kind of like used sparingly in this game. And, you know, obviously he's, he has an awesome design. I'm going to use save states. -da -da -da. I always thought this song was cool. Do do do. Do, 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 Okay. So, we're following the same tic-tac-toe, not tic-tac-toe, rock, paper, scissor, um, aesthetic, not aesthetic, but, um, format as the original series. So, basically, there's, if you're coming into this cold, you don't know who's, who, who you should start with, um, whose weaknesses is whose. So we ha here we have Launch Octopus, Chill Penguin, Flame Mammoth, Boomer Quanger. A Quanger is a beetle. Um, Sting Chameleon, Spark Mandrill. A Mandrill is a monkey. Um, Storm Eagle, an armored armadillo. In this game, the, um, the Robot Masters all have an animal uh, background. It's not like... Uh, Guts man, cut man, there's no man, it's like Joe Penguin. Obviously he's uh, the, the the cold boss. Flame Mammoth, the fire boss. Uh, the wind, uh, launch, launch octopuses, uh, I'm sorry, not wind, uh, water. Storm, storm Eagle, wind. So we're gonna start, spoiler, Joe Penguin. This game is like it's it's perfect. It's a perfect. It's like a masterpiece. Oh, 
I will never not love Mega Man, and Mega Man X1 is one of my favorite games. I am not terrible at this game, I'm just rusty. I've played through it <clears throat> a million times. Literally a million. Like, I would just beat this game and start it back up. Yeah, not having the, the dash is really throwing me off, so... And that's another reason why you, you start off in Chill Penguin, Chill Penguin stage. Because the upgrade capsule for the dash boots is in his stage. You don't really... That's another element of this game that you don't get in the original series. There's uh, like a, an exploration element to it. Um, in the original game series, <clears throat> all your, your rush upgrades that you get are pretty much given to you after you complete a stage. In this game, you have to actually search out and find upgrade capsules in which you get upgrades. And in this stage, it's kind of like a, they just hand it. They hand it to you in this one because the dash boots are like stock. Um, not really stock, but it's like the first upgrade. I honestly can't believe I'm having this much trouble playing this game. Also, I'm used to playing this on a Super Nintendo controller. Dude, how do I get up there? This is kind of pathetic. There's like a way to... You have to hit both... On this controller, it's X and O at the same time. That's how you, like, you wall jump. Dude, how are you not getting up there? This is getting on my nerves. There we go. I was about to fucking go nuts. <clears throat> It's amazing how if you don't play a game for like a year or two, how bad you get at it. Alright, so this is the capsule I was talking about. Dr. Light is dead, obviously. It's a hundred years. <clears throat> I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. the capsules in the subsequent games. <clears throat> Alright, so now I could get around a little easier. Playing this on OBS, like the frame rate keeps dropping, it's a little different from, I guess if you run it, run a game through OBS, it's a little different visually, so every time I get hit, I'll disappear for a little while, not every time I get hit, but um, it's happened a couple times, and it's kind of throwing me off. So, got 
cool little mech. See, I disappeared for a while. I don't know if I, that's visible on my stream or will be vis visual, uh, visible <clears throat> on my video. There's a heart tank up here, so that's a new thing as well <clears throat> with the X-Series. Uh, heart tanks. I need Flame Mammoth's weapon to get in here. Um, heart tanks basically increase your max health. There's one in each stage, as well as sub tanks. So a sub tank is basically you. It's like a like an like an uh, like the energy tanks from the original series. save states in this game or do you just save after every I guess you just save after every stage which is fine shouldn't cheat too too much it's slow and steady with this guy Yeah, I fucked that up. Can't fucking die. <clears throat> Can't get killed by a chill penguin. <gasps> oh, I should have played um play mammoth first, actually. What was I thinking? I was thinking I just want to get the dash boots. Because his... When you get the, the flamethrower, it makes this battle, like, laughably easy. I didn't... So basically, <coughs> excuse me, Chill Penguin's weapon, <coughs> Shotgun Ice takes out Spark Mandrill, but I'm not going to go to <coughs> Spark Mandrill yet. I'll show you why. Simple but effective. Save. Yes. So I figure each stream of this game, unless I could do more, I could I could knock out at least two two guys, two robot masters per stream. Um, tonight, obviously being New Year's Eve, I want to like not be playing video games all night. See, there's a little frost on the ground here. Uh, so if you beat cert, uh, if you beat them in a certain order, I keep calling them robot masters. They're called mavericks in this game. So if you beat certain mavericks at certain in certain orders, like there'll be environmental differences in each stage. Like this is supposed to be lava, but if you beat um, chill penguin first and then come to the screen all the lava will be frozen over 
which makes the stage a bit easier. So it's like kind of like you do it as you like. There's a an upgrade up here, but I can't get it yet because I don't have the helmet. So if you go to Chill Penguins stage first and beat him, the lava will be frozen and you can get the heart tank that's here. And it's it's reverse of Chill Penguins. If if you go to if you beat Flame Mammoth first, you'll get his weapon and be able to get the heart tank and chill penguin stage, but you gotta beat one of the other first in order to <coughs> get which whichever heart tank in whichever stage you're in. Ah, oh, they respawn as soon as you go off screen, that's annoying. These guys remind me of the fucking pickaxe throwing dickheads from uh, Gutsman stage in Mega Man 1. really crazy like I used to be able to beat this game like I, I wouldn't say I can't can't say I could beat it without dying but I could definitely get through almost all of it without dying back in the day because if, you know you, you forget the <clears throat> the enemy patterns their movements Not being able to dash in the first stage is like, it, you don't realize how severely it handicaps you. So in this game you dash as opposed to sliding in um, the, the original series. I'm much more of a fan of the dash than the slide. The slide kind of sucks in my opinion. Dry right now. What do you have anxiety? It's just a game. There we go. I know it's just a game, but you know, you know how these things are. There's nothing wrong. Come on, Mr. Metal. Alright, there's. Oh, there's a free guy. And... Yeah, there you go. How do you... It's like very hit or miss. On how these break. <clears throat> so that's an E-Tank. That's going to help us out a lot. <clears throat> so... Last stage, Chill Penguin stage, there's a heart container and dash boots, flame mammoth, heart tank, E tank, heart container and E tank. Fucking bitch. Free life in here. Not that that's a secret item or anything, but it can help be help. <coughs> Excuse me. It could be helpful. Don't get squashed. 
I don't think this thing's an instant death. I don't want to find out either. I think it just takes off a bunch of energy. Earlier I watched the, um, I don't know when it was made, but it was a Goosebumps movie with Jack Black in it. It was actually good. I was surprised. Kept my attention and it's a more current movie. You know, as my namesake says, I'm a retro kind of person. That's why uh, earlier I did a review and uh, I watched um, Fireworks are starting already if you can't hear them. Um, that's why I did Ghostbusters too. Uh, this is going to be one of those fucking annoying jumps. Yo! Dodged one and got killed by the other. Yeah, yeah um, I, I'm not opposed to watching newer, n newer or new movies, but... I don't know, man. Just... New shit in general, just not really a fan of. Like, I, when I was growing up, I would have loved all these Marvel movies. <coughs> you know, I grew up watching <coughs> the. Um, grew up during a good time in the mid '90s where we had the um, the X Men cartoon. Um, the Fox Kids one. <clears throat> Not the Pride of the X-Men. Not that that one is bad, but I, I just didn't really, I don't really have any nostalgia for it. I didn't really watch it that much. I remember I rented it from a, a video store. Rented one of the VHSs from a, vi a video store back in the day and, and watched it. I was like, eh, this isn't really like the one that I know. Um... Where was I going with this? Um, yeah, I grew up during so the, the Saturday morning. I think it was like Fox Kids or something, where they were playing like Power. They would play Power Rangers and the X Men. <clears throat> also the the Batman show. The guy who voiced him just passed away. I think it's Kevin Conroy, if I'm not mistaken. So, Flame Mammoth sucks. He just really just... I'll probably die. Because <coughs> he just does nothing but jump. Um, yeah, the... Um, and if you... In typical fashion... In a video game, if a giant ass guy jumps and you're not jumping while he's jumping, you will get knocked down basically. Yeah, wow. <coughs> Usually I have zero trouble on that guy, and I really would have thought that. I really thought I was just gonna blow through this. <clears throat> I'm blowing. Not the way that I uh, anticipate it, though. I was jumping, guy. You gotta be a little bit mobile with this guy. One thing that sucks about this game is your weapon energy doesn't <clears throat> doesn't replenish after you die. So if you you have to be very conservative with your weapon energy. <clears throat> Fuck. Not supposed to slide underneath him. Um I was playing Mega Man 11 yesterday, and I don't know if it's because I was playing on casual, but 
I noticed that after every time you die, after fighting, after attempting a, a boss, <clears throat> your weapon energy refills. Um, I said it on prior streams. Um, Mega Man 11 was really well done. It's a beautiful game, but the levels are just too friggin' long. Like, it just, it loses your interest. It definitely made me lose my interest a couple times. Um, I, I mean, I, I was able to get up to the Wily Castle, uh, up to the Wily Castle. <coughs> in one sitting. Not like with this game where I'm sucking balls right now. It's embarrassing how bad I got at this game. I used to be able to just friggin' blow right through it. Jump. I prob. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I fucked myself by not filling that E tank. That flame mammoth would have taken me out that way. He did me kind of crazy. Alright. So. Quick little aside. Oh no. Stupid. You, you, what am I thinking? <laughs> you can't go back unless you actually beat the guy <clears throat> I need to beat him first before I go back there what am I thinking <clears throat> yeah old age is gonna be crazy <clears throat> if I'm forgetting stuff that like that I'm in trouble Of conveyor belt over here. <coughs> Trying to fill my E tank up before I go over there. I feel like these stages are really perfect. Not too long. Should have 
fill up that heat tank a little more. This fucking guy. Traction. We're getting some traction. Farming in this game sucks because <clears throat> that should do it. it. Takes way too freaking long. All right, that should be it because they got a, a different sound effect on that. I wonder what the hell those things in the background are. Are they supposed to be aliens? Shit that they don't explore. No. I'm like, I can't get hit once and I get hit three times. Four times. Guy. Like. I'm shit in the bed. I gotta at least beat this guy. I gotta at least get through the stage first before I could actually beat him. <clears throat> I gotta change the name from my channel <clears throat> from Retro Crypt to Re Retro Shit. Because I am the Dookies.
this one's gonna be a wash. I'm not gonna use my E tank here, he's gonna jump first. I guess that's oil or something. Mm, yeah, you got me. I'm fucking utterly baffled. So I remember <clears throat> when I used to play this a lot and didn't suck at it, I would experiment with, you know, boss weaknesses and stuff. You could actually cut his trunk off with Boomer Quanger's weapon which is the boomerang cutter. Thought that was a cool tidbit. A little fun fact to keep you entertained while I take damage. I think I got him this time. Come on. So this is the only boss in the game that it's not just a single screen. You could kind of like move around a little bit in here. The rest of them are like in a small room, <clears throat> smaller room. That land, the fire lands on the oil and it creates like a huge inferno. Alright. <clears throat> Dignity restored. I died on the two easiest mavericks of Mega Man X. I like this James Bond type music his power so now we can go I'm just gonna show you where the heart tank is in chill penguin stage that I couldn't get to then I'm gonna cut it off um, so like I said two Mavericks per stream and I go do New Year's Eve stuff with the wifey so you get a cool flamethrower. Cuts through shit like butter. Butter. Cutting through shit like butter. Alright, I can't fucking die on the way over there though. That would be pathetic. Alright. Yo, these guys are dropping. Fucking ass loads. I forgot these bats drop ass loads of um, weapon energy and energy in general. There's one in, um, there's a lot of these in Armored Armadillo stage. Who, <clears throat> there's a trick, not a trick, but there's a reason for that. And that reason is, you, you would think I'm being a silly goose by saying it, but you could actually get a Hadouken, right? Reuse Hadouken from Street Fighter in um, Armored Armadillo's stage. This was before the internet. 
was very, I don't know if the internet was, uh, I know it wasn't prevalent <coughs> yet, as of yet, but, um, this was before you could really look up walkthroughs and streams of games. Um, I found out from a friend, we used to play Mega Man all the time together. <coughs> He was like, oh, you got a Hadouken, and I was like, you're lying. And sure enough, he brought over a code, not a code, but uh, just a how-to written down on a piece of paper. We did it. Um, and it worked. You'd actually get a Hadouken, and it, it, it one-hits every boss in the game. I think you could only use it one time. I think that was kind of the caveat to it. I think, you, oh no, 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 you could only use it <clears throat> if you have full energy. If you don't have full energy, you can't use it. So switch the flame. Got the heart tank, so we'll continue this tomorrow. Um, thanks for tuning in. That was... That was interesting. Gotta get my reflexes, my Mega Man reflexes back. <clears throat> uh, thanks for joining. I'll catch you guys later.